Now I'm always looking for new and exciting ways to enjoy photography and connect with the beautiful world around me. And a few weeks ago at the Creative Light Festival, I was introduced to the style of photography known as multiple exposure photography by Charlotte Bellamy. And I have genuinely fallen head over heels in love for this technique of photography. It's very creative, it's very artistic, and it just allows you to see the world in a whole new light. So I just thought it'd be nice today to introduce you to the technique of multiple exposure photography to see if it's maybe something you'd like to try in your own photographic journey and see if it resonates with you, see if you're open to it, because it really can allow you to create some really interesting and unique images in all weather conditions. Once I get more comfortable with multiple exposure photography, I'm gonna create a tutorial video to teach you all how to do it. But for this video, I just wanted the opportunity to plant the seeds in your head to give you potentially a new creative way of doing photography. Now, about a year ago, when I first started doing intentional camera movement, it felt so strange to even attempt it because intentional camera movement, in case you're, you're unsure, is when you use your camera like a paintbrush to create images like this one here. And when I began doing this, it felt weird because the ICM technique goes against so much of the rules that we're taught when we begin photography. But when I began doing it, it opened up a whole new world of photographic opportunity for me, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And the same thing is true for multiple exposure photography. Multiple exposure is basically where you take two or more images and they're layered on top of each other. So you have two, two or more images in one image, which allows you to create some really artistic images. When I heard about this a few weeks ago, I just thought, it's not going to be for me. It sounds a bit bizarre. But when I went out into the fields and started doing it, I instantly fell in love with it. And what I love the most about multiple exposure photography is it does not matter what the weather's doing. It does not matter what the light's doing. You can get good photographs any day, at any time, in any location. And I'm gonna show you now some of the images I've been capturing over the last few weeks. And these have been taken mostly in locations that I've been photographing since the day I began photography. And it's allowed me to capture them in a whole new light. And it excites me so much.
Now you probably will have seen in those images, there's a few different techniques that I used to create those images. Some of them were taking two shots as standard images together, and some of them were like a standard snap with an ICM shot over the top as well. There's so many different ways of doing multiple exposure photography, and I'm not gonna to talk too much about how to physically do it in this video because I am going to create a number of videos going forwards of me just out in the field doing it in real time to show you how I'm connecting with nature and creating my multiple exposure images. A bit like what happened with ICM last year, it's probably going to feature quite heavily on my channel moving forwards in amongst all the usual landscape um, imagery as well. So. I really just wanted today to introduce you to multiple exposure photography. If it's something you've never heard of before, it's an exciting and different way to connect with the world around you. And particularly if you're heading out and you're really struggling to find really good landscape images or you're up against it and there's not great light, then it gives you the opportunity to create images in all weather conditions and gives you a new way of expressing yourself using your camera. Because I've said it before, there is so many ways, so many ways to do photography. And in my opinion, there's no right or wrong way to do photography. It's just about finding what works for you and find out what you love about photography the most. Because no matter what your interests are, no matter what subjects you enjoy, and no matter what your level of comfort is with your camera, there are techniques that you can do that you're going to love and be able to embrace from day one. A multiple exposure photography, for those of you who are maybe more creatively minded and more artistic, is definitely a style of photography that's well worth adopting. And it'll add something new and exciting in amongst your general photographs that you, you take already. So that's just a, a brief introduction to this beautiful world of multiple exposure photography. And like I say, it's something that will be featuring on my channel a bit moving forwards. I have just fallen in love with it and I can't wait to share some of my multiple exposure adventures with you all. I've already started two new projects based on this technique. And uh, I think these projects are ones that I'm really gonna be invested in because I have, I think I finally found genres of photography that really resonate with me. And I hope that for some of you watching this video, this style of photography will resonate with you too. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Mm -hmm.